okay so in this lecture let us see how can we handle check boxes using cypress for that i will be showing another application and we will try to automate that application with check boxes yeah here is the site rahulshettyacademy.com automation practice so there are different ui related methods we will come when we try to automate like radio buttons drop downs check boxes switching the tab alerts web tables element hide show all these are common um things which you need to automate and which you can need to understand how to handle them with your automation tools so these are the basic things you will come across when you try to automate your web application so what i did here i try to consolidate all different scenarios which you may face in your process of automation and all those related ui things i have consolidated into one website so in this page itself you will find all the options if you want to know how to automate drop downs using cypress you can practice in this page and also if you want to know how to handle radio buttons check boxes everything all ui related things i have written in this one page and this is one centralized place for you to practice understand and then get some confidence so that you can apply on any other website okay so do not think that this is dummy page all the uh, ui whatever you are seeing here have taken from the real time websites only but instead of having a banners and actual functionality i have only concentrated on these parts because at the end you have to handle all uh, buttons check boxes everything right so this is a page where we will play around and learn all the uh, ui related things and how to automate those with cypress okay now let's start with check box first now if i want to click on this pretty straight forward cy dot get and you have to find the locator for this css selector and then dot click and cypress also provides one important feature here instead of clicking they have provided a method called dot check let us see how to do that if i want to select this check box this is the id now if you go to my sheet i have clearly told that if you have id name then you can simply put hash before that so that it will become css selector so keeping this in mind uh, let me create new test so in this new test we were not going to talk about this green card website so here we were actually focusing on this url automation practice perfect now see why dot get and you have id for this so css can be written hash that's it this will turn as css if you have any doubts you can validate either from your browser cropark plugin or you can open your cypress test runner and validate there as well um i think test runner is closed let me reopen that So let me comment this now and save the project so that when I select this test three, it will just load the URL, nothing else. Right now I'm trying to working on Chrome browser now instead of Electron. It's up to you. You can choose any browser of your wish. 
okay so i think it did not yeah it's visiting now all right so you are on this page and you have selected checkbox locator right if you want to confirm whatever i provided is correct or not select that specific css selector and here you can open selector playground and paste it here checkbox option one you see that it's clearly saying one matched element and this is getting highlighted keep an eye on this when i hit an enter you see that so we were very sure that we were able to target the specific element so you can copy this and we already did so dot there for checkboxes there is a method called check you can still do click but this will be more reliable than click for specific checkboxes okay do remember this method and this will help you to check after checking okay now if you want you want to verify whether it is checked or not that's your test case right you will check it and make sure the check box is checked so that you are verifying that functionality so how to verify if it is checked or not after you perform check method you can use an assertion should in general we have till now dealt with have right and there is one more thing called b if if you are validating properties of this checkbox then you will tell as should have this property but now here you are looking at behavior of this checkbox for behavioral things you have to use b b dot just imagine like this should be checked is this b dot checked okay so is it sounding good than should have checked you are just telling that this checkbox should be checked yeah because this is the behavior not a property of this um, element so for behavior we will use be okay that's it assertion is done now you can run this and it will check the checkbox and it will verify if it is checked or not okay next now if you want to validate the property of this checkbox now for example after you check that you want to verify whether the value is option one for this element or not okay so right now you are on this element right you are performing all the actions on this so if you want to verify that if you are checking correct checkbox let's say your goal is to select option one value checkbox now how do you validate whether the checkbox you selected is option one or not again valid when i say validate then you have to think of assertion in your mind with should so you can have multiple assertions on single line itself you need not again create write one more step instead now you want to have one more should right so if you are writing multiple shoulds for the second time you can simply say end so this will treat this as should only instead of again calling should 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 multiple times call once and thereafter if you put end it will automatically treat that as should as well so you can use that concatenation of assertions basically so what are you trying to do here here we were trying to see if the property value is option one or not for properties it should be have right so have dot that what is the property name value and give the expected one the actual one will get into that and now expected one should be option one so here we were not writing second argument because we were directly checking the behavior check if it is checked or not that's it but here we were comparing comparing the values 
so when you want to compare if property is displayed correctly or not then you should have some expected then you should an actual one but for behavioral you will directly check that's the reason when we do behavioral you should be b dot and comparison things you should have have dot in your assertions all these are derived from chai js library you can just google c h a i chai assertions and you can read all these from there but don't worry i am trying to explain what all needed for your cypress automation and you need not go anywhere and learn anything okay so let's run this program and see it should check and verify if it is checked and also verify the property okay so it's trying to load the website and that's it it's done because you see that it got checked and you can read clearly about how it asserted okay when you actually select this before you can read the screenshot the red one is pointing to here so that means it clearly telling that whatever locator you selected is right now here on check before checking this is the screenshot and after checking this is this okay you remove hide highlight and you will see that checkbox option uh, before and after okay done nice so we learned two new things now about check boxes what if i want to uncheck it it's again the same step you check now right and you can simply uncheck that's it and you can revert the things back and you can now check assertion should not be checked okay should not be not dot b dot you see that it's throwing an options and there is a method called not be checked that's it and now it will uncheck and it verifies that it is not checked now if i just put b dot checked what happens this test should fail because after unchecking if i am still checking whether if it is checked or not this assertion should kick us out let's see save the project and test is running again okay so it's trying to make it's trying for few seconds to see if it is getting checked or not but it went off and it had clear message that expected this one to be checked but unfortunately no it's unchecked we know it's expected now should not be checked save this and now you will have correct output stating that it is not checked you see that it already passed so this is how you can work and if you want to select multiple check boxes instead of doing one at a time you can wrap all these on one um, single line let me show you so right now you are actually targeting one single check box right if you want to select multiple check boxes first of all you have to verify and find out the common property for all these three check boxes okay obviously common property for all these three will be the type because type defines the nature of your ui element and if it is checkbox and it will be type equals to checkbox okay so cy dot get how to write css good question i told you that you can write checkbox with any attribute if you carefully follow this syntax okay tag name attribute equals to value so attribute here is type and tag name is input and value is checkbox so if you follow that syntax or let me write it here tag name input type checkbox done okay so put double quotes 
single quote and single quote is not allowed so if you can put double quotes or wrap this whole string in double quotes and you can use this as a single quote you can do vice versa as well okay now it's time for you to validate if it is correct or not before you perform any step um paste it here perfect you see that three matched elements these three are matched now when i write this step cypress have a hold on three elements right and now i can say check out of these three i can ask to check only the specified elements how to tell that again it's same check method but inside let's pass an array of arguments this method you know that if you provide like this it will go and check all the three elements but i will provide the values which needs to be checked so check method will accept value property of your check boxes if you provide value property then it will only select what all values you supply to this array so option 2 what is the value of it this is option 1 right um get me the option 2 yeah so let's say i want to click on this option 2 so i am trying to demonstrate here how to select multiple check boxes at a time without writing so many steps okay and if i want to select option 3 it's same thing right so what happens when your test runs now it will select first check box and it will uncheck again thereafter we were sending an arguments to an array saying that go and check option 2 and option 3 but to make it possible first of all you have to write a locator which is common to all check boxes then only cypress will first understand what all or what all the check boxes i got out of them and it will look into the arguments what you passed and it will select based upon that filter but if you provide check box option one cypress will know only about first check box and if you ask to click on second and third that cannot and it fails so make sure whatever you ask to select will be part of this locator and we saw that right we did this and we got these three options okay so save the project and monitor the output okay nice look at here first select option is missed that is intentional because we unchecked it and thereafter it clicked second and third and this is the proof okay so this is how you can work with check boxes i gave you all the possible options on how to play with these check boxes and using this concept you can handle any item of check box in any application all right okay see you with one more topic in next lecture thank you